Hey everyone, so on this vlog, um, a friend of mine, Bailey, just called me up. He wants to do some installation, so it's a lot, a little bit warmer here than Regina, so <laughs> I can actually do some work outside. So uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification and hit that like button. And yeah. Let's get this thing started. Hey everyone, what's going on? Being here. Uh, we're outside. Finally made it. And you guys remember Bailey? Hey guys, Bailey here. So what are we doing today? Today, we have an <laughs> HD mirror dash cam that also records with its rear camera. <laughs> I've taken the liberty of already installing the camera. Right here, everyone. As it takes a little bit of custom work, as you can see underneath here, we had to go through the rubber to run our line to connect to our power and our video. Okay, so I'm going to, here I'm going to help him out installing this. And we need to do a couple more work on it. Yeah, you can see how many, look how much like undercoating he has on this. <laughs> Should we all take him for? <laughs> no rust, I guess. <laughs> We're also going to let people know that we run with a dash cam. Yeah, it's mirror image, but it's going to be on the uh, on the glass. So once you put it on the glass, you can actually see it. So he's on the camera on the go. <laughs> Removing some uh, interior pieces. Why go in the passenger side? Why? <laughs> Why are you in the passenger side? Because it's, it's easier. Is it easier? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, look, two bucks. Hey, you can get Tim Hortons again. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Coffee! Oh, that's fine. Your seatbelt. Uh, straight this in the way. Oh, I had it in black and white for a little bit there. I didn't even <laughs> notice. We can just run it through. That's okay. Where did I put it? It's over here. Ah. Our reason for removing the trim is so that our camera wire can be hidden. Oh yeah, yeah. His wires, man. His wires should be hidden. Look at this. Look at this, everybody. This is why first thing I saw. <laughs> his wire for his subwoofer is exposed. <laughs> this is. I was telling him, dude, that, who did this? Like, this is like a grade eight thing. It was in rush in the, uh, doing a rush hour project. <laughs> this is a grade eight. You gotta be more clean so he ran the wire through the floor uh, do the door sill all the way all the way across then we're going to uh, go underneath the um, kick floor click kick or uh, the floor mat underneath that and all the way to the the stereo uh, you just have to take your time with it. Don't rush it, or else you kind of like break a couple of uh, plastic trim. So just take your time. It's best if you do it in the summer, not like here or during winter. There's like snow because when it's nice and cold, these uh, trim gets like frozen so you gotta be really delicate when you take it off so, so how does that look it's looking, your review mirror it's looking pretty good i can see very nicely and clearly you can set it any way you want like your normal rear view because your normal rear view is just right behind it now i'm going to take my end and i'm going to attach it 
in behind where it's supposed to go so that I may run it. Best, the best way to do that, you gotta remove the the A pillar. The what? A pillar. That? A pillar. Yeah. Oh, well, not so much for that. Let's pull it. Don't you have like a flathead screwdriver if you don't have? There we are. Just careful of the clips. Look at the clips. You still have it intact. Yeah, very good. Oh, cool. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, well. See if you can remove the one of the headlights right there. These screws. Just remove that. That way you have a little bit of leverage. As you can see, folks, that's why uh, if you pull this in, it'll leave. I like to install it nice and clean and looks like from showroom condition from the dealer. Uh, yeah. So I, uh, I told them to remove the sun visor. There's two, screw, uh, two screws here and then one screw here. And I believe this is a clip. So that way it can actually come down a little bit and sw swing this wire across the uh, the eight pillar. Slowly. As long as you have a little bit of leverage. Stick it in there, you know? Yeah. Take a while. Right. And I think there's a clip. You got a clip here. Nope. Should be oh, you, you got enough. Got Sneak enough. it in there. Like pro, just don't pull it too hard. There you go. You have zip ties? No. Oh. That's alright. That's fine. Electrical tape that. Tape it. One second. Oh shit. Going all the way down there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just right around. Sometimes you have to shimmy and play with her, get her in the right spots. Just like I said, like take your time, right? Important thing, don't rush it. What is this, you're going all the way back then? Mm -hmm. you're going all the way back. Then we pull our rubbers right over. I mean, we could have taken her off, but it's not always fun putting them back on. Yeah. Just like that. Put your little pin back in, hold her in place. 
Boom. Take this. We're gonna run it on the inside of this. To do that, it's nice and easy. Just wanna pull her back a little, push the wire in. To do that, the easiest thing to do is take this. Now, just in case, have it all apart first. Don't put it back together till you know it's good and ready to go back together in case you have to redo anything. Uh, that means if you do have to do an adjustment, just don't put anything back. Because there's always a, an adjustment you have to do. Back here, there's a number of different ways you can do this. Me, I tuck it in between the seat, behind the seat belt. That way it gets a proper hold and it stays in and you'll never see it. Be creative, man. And you're going to want to take this and fish it underneath the seat into the back like this. You don't want to obstruct or get it caught in between uh, the... Uh, there's pieces in here that hold your seat. The hinge. The hinge, yes. <laughs> then, this is where a cable tie comes in handy. <laughs> normally, you can put these guys back on. And it looks as though we never did anything. There you go. Just remember when putting them on, like taking them off, try and do it nice and slow so you don't break anything and have any issues. Together. Worry about the side, the visor later. That's yeah. an easy install. Alright, so I'm gonna try and tuck it along back here a little bit. Doesn't appear to be working though. Oh, really well. Just like that. It doesn't get caught on anything. here. Now, it's not the greatest make, but uh, it's gonna... Yeah, just fix it later. It's gonna do. Just fix it later. All right, that's our camera. Now this little red wire is gonna come. Be attached to your backup wire here. Now, your orange will be your positive, the black will be your negative, and you're going to want it on the positive. And that gives it the signal, the reverse light on the your uh, dash cam. Yep. 
Liars? I do not. Truth. See if it actually works. Well, not plug it in. You gotta plug it in still? Yeah. Power. See a lot of wiring. Or just one single thing. It makes noise. Yep, and we've got rear. You can't see. Can you see a truck? I can't see. <laughs> just because of the sun. Let's see. Oh, there's a little bit. There's a little bit. I can see it pretty well, though. Well, you can't see it on the camera. Oh, okay. You can see it. It's there. It looks good. How about that experience? I thought that was a great experience. And there's going to be a lot more to come. Uh, final thoughts on that? I think this product is very good. Uh, in the comments, we will attach the Amazon link to get this product. Um, where also in the link, I will comment myself on how this product works entirely after using it for a week. Anyways, we did a he did a Bailey did a test run on it just around the block. He's pretty happy with it. Um, um, description down below what product is he use. And go from there. Um, I think I'm going to wrap up the video for today. So until then, stay fly. Peace. Wow. Okay. Okay. It's recording both. <laughs>